that one doesn't have, I can put a steeple or a chimney on that one. Thousands of shoppers packed the Canton Square Thursday. I've seen people from Louisiana, Arkansas. I mean, you have them from everywhere. It's like these women load up in trucks and trailers to come Christmas shopping here. It's crazy. We're on a mission. <laughs> you can find just about anything at the Canton Flea Market. I could live in this. Man, wake up! Wake so up. there's a little bit of something for everybody at the will, Canton Flea Market. These chairs will hold up to 500 pounds. Furniture, art, clothes, jewelry, and decorations. What are y'all looking for? <laughs> Anything and everything. <laughs> we met Vanessa and Annette Thursday at 5 a.m. They say they make the October flea market an annual trip. We go up and down each aisle. So that you make sure so that you don't you, miss anything. You cover right. every booth. And of course, we can't forget the food. Bad, it's by, it's bad by the river. One flea market favorite is the Cajun Pistol. It's a fried bread roll filled with shrimp, crab, crawfish, and a blend of cheeses. No, we're always under the light. It is a huge economic impact that we can't even measure. Organizers say not only is the flea market great business for the vendors, it also brings a lot of money into the city of Canton. Anywhere from the gas stations, they're filling up their, you know, gas tanks, they're eating at the fast food restaurants, they're staying in our hotels. And local businesses count on the flea market twice a year. A lot of our local merchants will tell you that if it wasn't for the Canton Flea Market and our Victorian Christmas Festival that they wouldn't survive. In Canton, Ann Parker 16, WAPT News.